Hi Libra, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with another weekly love read. In this video Libra, we're going to take a look at the person that you're currently in no contact with for whatever reason you're currently not talking to this person. Maybe they walked away from you, uh, maybe you've blocked them, whatever the situation, you're in no contact right now. We're going to take a look at this uh, situation for you. We're going to see what it is that you need to know regarding this connection at this time. It is a general reading Libra, like, share, subscribe if it is currently resonating for you. Don't try to force this reading if it doesn't sound like it's for you though, okay? I wouldn't want you to do that. Uh, but feel free to let me know in the comment section below which part best resonates for you or what your takeaways were. Um, I am open to taking personal bookings, Libra, if you would like a personal reading. And all those details will be in the show more section. And if you would like to connect with me on Instagram, I am also uh, that the Instagram handle will be linked in the show more section below also. All right, this reading will be good for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Libran placements out there. And to the cross watchers, feel free to take the messages as your own. And in these videos, you can feel free to reverse the roles, okay? All right, Spirit, what is it that Libra needs to know when it comes to the person that they're currently in no contact with? We've got the Devil. This is Major Arcana for Capricorn. Okay, we've got the Ten of Swords and we've got the Four of Cups. Okay, let's take a look at these cards. The High Priestess. You've got Capricorn energy here with the High Priestess. You've got Pisces, Cancer energy. Um, okay, I'm going to leave that card there for the time being. Hmm. So it, it seems like this relationship has come to some kind of an end with the Ten of Swords. Okay, it's come to some kind of an end. You may feel that you weren't getting anywhere in this uh, connection. Okay, you may feel like you weren't getting anywhere with this person or getting anywhere in this connection. Okay, you may have even, I want to say here with the devil, you may have even like connected with this person for all the wrong reasons. Or maybe they connected with you for all the wrong reasons. That's what I'm getting here with the devil. Hence why it has come to an end. Now, there's the Four of Cups, which tells me here that the emotional connection between you and this person was not growing. It wasn't developing. You may have felt with this person that their intentions were not pure or their intentions were not genuine. It's kind of like they withheld something from you. They withheld getting to know you better or it feels like with the four of cups because i'm seeing this rat this rat is covering the entry points of these cups which is the emotional connection of getting to know you on a more personal and deeper emotional level So it could feel like this person was emotionally guarded or they had their heart closed. But I also see you closing your heart to this person. There's the Ace of Cups. Could be someone that you just recently connected to with the Ace of Cups. Okay, maybe with the High Priestess here, you had like an intuitive pull to this person. You were drawn to them for some reason. But I feel like the, you were drawn to this person for the very reason to learn to love yourself. Ace of Cups. I did, I do feel initially when you met this person, they 
made you feel happy but yeah i i, I want to say libra this high priestess is you were intuitively drawn towards this person because this person's come to teach you how to respect yourself love yourself um because this is the card of self-love this is the card of self-worth mm. yeah there's a three of cups which is telling me here the connection between you and this person initially was great uh, i feel like you got along with them for the most part but the three of cups is telling me here this person was only looking for something casual they were only looking for a friends with benefits situation. Maybe you had to learn this the hard way, Libra, because the Ten of Swords is here. So maybe it's been a very trying and painful journey for you, but you had to learn it the hard way is what I'm saying. Is what I'm seeing, sorry. You had to learn this the hard way. Could be with a Scorpio here. Because this there's a death card, Major Icana for Scorpio. You had to learn it the hard way. All right, so tell us more. Okay, isn't it funny how the cards want to be there? There's the three of cups. Yeah, you had to learn this the hard way is what I'm getting here. Now, the thing is, this is the devil energy, right? This person may want to come in and uh, reconnect with you here. They may want to restart the connection. Um, let's see, what's the card that fell out? There's the death card. Mm. Look, this person may make a new offer because the Ace of Cups is here, yep. They're definitely thinking about you here with the three of wands. I feel like this person is waiting for the right time to approach you or come towards you. I feel like they will make a new offer. But I do want to say, Libra, um, just to put it out there, that if you do let this person come back in, um, it is very evident here with the death card and the ten of swords that it isn't going to change. Okay, if you let this person back in, there's a high likelihood or a high chance here that you will get hurt by them again. Mm. And there's a hanged man. Okay, this is this is looking at this from a different angle now. So the hanged man is saying here, carefully consider what you will do. Carefully consider letting this person back in. Mm. Yeah, it's because this hanged man here in this deck, Libra, is to me, it's like a warning sign. It's like, just be very cautious, be very careful. Even the Eight of Swords is here. See that? It's very closed off energy here with the Eight of Swords. Mm. All right. So the Death card is, yeah, the Death card definitely is saying here, look, the situation isn't going to change. This person isn't going to change. There's something very toxic about this person with the devil energy. There's the seven of pentacles. Tell us more, spirit. Tell us more. I feel that you invested a bit into the relationship. I feel like you invested a fair bit into the connection. Libra but it didn't generate the results it didn't generate the results okay you were waiting for your efforts to pay off and it hasn't paid off 
if anything, all this person has created or given you is um, pain or hurt. There's the Sun of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's a Temperance card, which is Major Arcana for Sagittarius. All right. Let's just pop that there. So the Sun of Pentacles to me is an energy of someone who moves very slowly. Okay, you may have found that this person wasn't growing the emotional connection here because it's the Sun of Pentacles is sitting underneath the Ace of Cups, which is it's a stagnant energy. So, yes, you initially met this person and they made you feel very fulfilled and happy, but it hasn't developed. It hasn't grown here with the Sun of Pentacles. It hasn't taken root it hasn't established itself into something more. And I feel with the temperance card here is this is what you're needing to heal from. Mm, that's what I'm getting here with the temperance card. I feel that you were patient or you were very patient or you gave this person time. Um but it's kind of like you're now starting to get to a point Libra where how much more time can you give this person I feel like you've been very patient in waiting for something more to generate here but now you're understanding very very clearly that you cannot give this person any more of your time or your energy because you're starting to recognize or see here that this person is taking advantage of you. They're taking you for granted or they're taking, I'm getting taken advantage of. That's what I'm getting. They're taking advantage of you. So let's clarify the devil. Let's find out more. I'm going to come in with the mini Rider weight deck Libra. And we're just going to get some more on this devil energy. So Spirit, tell us more about the devil. Yeah, look at that. We've got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This person doesn't make you feel safe or secure. You, you can't trust this person as, as far as you can throw a stone. They might be entertaining other options right now. You might not be the only person that they're entertaining and talking to. Okay? This person is someone who is not looking for anything serious or anything long term i hate to say it libra but that's what i get but it's not i'm not telling you anything that you didn't already know look at that you can't get any more clearer we've got the death card clarifying the ten of swords and underneath the ten of swords is the death card this is major endings you guys major major endings but look at this there's a new beginning here for you on the cards so it's kind of like maybe i'm connecting to a libra that's kind of going rosa you know what? There's no love lost here. There's no love lost. If anything, this person's taught me so much about myself and I'm becoming a stronger person as a result. Can we clarify this Four of Cups? There's the Six of Swords in reverse. Um, if this person returns to you, Libra, I want to say that they're still going to be emotionally unavailable. Okay, they may, someone who walked away from you may return, but I want to say here that they're still emotionally unavailable. Oh my God, look at this. There's the Ace of Pentacles here, clarifying the Ace of Cups. So I do want to say there's major new beginnings on the cards here for you. Okay, there, there may even, as soon as you close the door on this connection, or as soon as this, you accept that it's over or it's ended, I feel like there is a new opportunity coming in for you in regards to love and it looks promising. Let's clarify the three of cups. Yeah, look at that. There's the four of wands in reverse. There's a lack of stability within a friendship or a connection here. Again, I'm getting that this is someone who just wants a friends with benefits relationship or they're just looking for something casual. Maybe you have friends on them because you don't see yourself 
um, you know, going the distance with this person. Let's clarify the death card. We've got the hanged man. Yeah, I feel like you've put uh, an end to this. Okay, or you're starting to recognize I need to just close the door on this relationship. Because the hangman is you coming into enlightenment or awareness of what it is that you should do. You may even realize here, Libra, this week, you know what? This person's never going to change. Let's clarify the seven of pentacles. Yeah, there's the five of wands. You invested a lot into a relationship um, there may have been a lot of arguments or fights with this person, okay? Because I'm seeing the Five of Wands as very argumentative energy. You may have done your best to overcome the arguments or the fights or the challenges or the conflict here. But the reason why there was a lot of conflict or drama is because you wanted something more and they didn't. Mm, that's what I'm getting. Let's have a look at the Sun of Pentacles. Yep. Again, we've got repetitive cards, you guys. Three of Cups. You're friend zoning this person. Okay. Your friends owning them three cups. It's a card of saying casual connections and you're not down for casual connections. Okay, you're looking for something serious with the right person, Libra. So let's grab some last parting messages or advice or whichever comes first. I see you with the three of cups putting yourself out there again. Okay, I see you putting yourself out there again, um, mingling socializing with your friends, having a good time. You're not going to let this person or this relationship bog you down. We've got the fates. So I want to say here, Libra, look at this as a blessing. Okay, a blessing, I should say, a blessing. So it's like a lesson and a blessing at the same time because you're learning something very valuable about yourself, which could be in the form of self-respect self and self-love. But also thanking this person for, you know, the lesson, okay? But there's also someone who is more destined and fated to come into your life. We've got flexible here. That's the thing. This person treated you as something casual. Flexible is like, you know, let's just see where this goes. Let's just see where this takes us. Maybe that's what this person said to you. Like, I'm not ready for something serious for it right now, but let's just see where it goes. Well, hello, but Libra's not down for being flexible with this right now because I feel like you've been patient enough. I feel like you've given this person enough time to realize that they're just taking you for a ride. All right, we've got building blocks. You know what? I really love the building blocks because this is you now putting a wall up. Okay, you are putting a wall up. You've got this person at arm's length. You're not letting them anywhere near you because your stability is important now. If this person doesn't make you feel stable, then, you know, if you can't trust them, you're like, meh, I'm keeping you at arm's length. I'm keeping you right over there. You stay right over there and I'm going to stay right over here. But you want to build a life with someone here. You want to build a relationship with someone here who is on the same page as you. Because that is what you're ultimately looking for, Libra. You're looking for love and you're looking for that romance of a lifetime that you can build a life with. So there's your reading, Libra. Let me know how it best resonated for you. Let me know if I mentioned the sign of your person also, as it helps me to connect with your energy better for a more clearer and accurate read. And until next time, Libra, take care. Bye for now.